Yeah, this is what Holdenville looks like today. Massive trees uprooted like twigs thrown into homes. Crews are still here in Holdenville trying to restore power after those powerful winds rip down power lines. It's devastating scenes like this that have Oklahomans ready to help. We got a few power lines still, we got crews out getting trees out of the way so people can get out of their houses. The cleanup will take a while in Hughes County after Saturday night's tornadoes. I was the first one at the uh, uh, the house that got hit up north where the male died. Homes destroyed and families forever changed. We had some people stuck in cellars, people stuck in their houses, so we just did what we could to get them out. A lot of them have uh, no power right now, no water. A lot of wells were hit. Today, a command center set up at the intersection of Highway 270 and State Highway 48 provided tornado victims with necessities, food, water, tarps, and clothing. Well, originally, the response from the health department is to come out and offer tetanus shots, but we needed more help up here doing all the supplies. We had so many donations from different vendors, and so we're just loading cars up as they come in with needs. Over 80 cars pulled in as officials and volunteers loaded them up. We decided to uh, load the truck up and get here and get as much as we could in the name of Jesus to these, these families. Now, for many here in Holdenville, power is still their main concern. According to Oklahoma's electric cooperatives, 300 people are still without power here in Holdenville.